All right, so today we're going to be looking at a little Percipio hack on how to get some correspondence courses done pretty quickly and get those promotion points. So first you're gonna open up Microsoft Edge and you're gonna to go to the extensions button there and click the open Microsoft Edge extensions. Once you're at the Edge add-ons, you're gonna type in the following. It should look like this. You can go ahead and click get there or click on the actual application and click get. Go ahead and add the extension. And it should pop up right there. If it doesn't click the little extensions button and make sure that you can see by clicking the little view or no view button. All right, after that, you can see the Super Video Speed Controller panel there. You have a bunch of different options on speed types. You can do for one single tab, for a single domain, so like the entirety of YouTube or Percipio. And sometimes you have to close out of it and go back into it to get it to uh, function correctly. You can turn it on, turn it back off, do all of that. So let's go ahead and go over to Precipio, pull up a course. I'm just pulling up a random one here from the home page. Click library, US Army e-learning, and this is just the one I'm working on. Some baseline certifications. And we're gonna go ahead and do the Cloud Essential Plus, the CompTIA. Go ahead and click on the actual course. And you can see this one's 19, almost 20 hours. So this one's going to give you almost four whole promotion points. One point being five hours worth of work. You can see this module is an hour and a half and it does require a test. So anything over 30 minutes that requires a test typically is going to be good to go for points. Opening up the actual course, you can see that the speed controller recognizes that there's a video. After starting the video, you'll go ahead and change the quality to the lowest possible. That way it buffers as much of the video as possible, as quickly as possible. Make sure autoplay is enabled so you don't have to cl keep clicking each individual video. And as you can see right now, it's running on one second. Just normal, 100% normal speed. Clicking on 250, as you can see, it is playing at two and a half times, 250% speed. Now you can make this play at whatever speed you want from 0% all the way up to 10 million percent. As you can see, I typed in 666% and right there, it's just speeding through. With autoplay enabled, it successfully automatically plays the next clip. And you can see with the low quality, it's buffering pretty quickly. Now the max speed, you can see 1600%. You can see it'll, it'll start catching up to itself and, and buffering. And I found that slows it down a little bit. I found that on most connections between 300 and 700% is about the limit of what you're gonna get. And of course that's plenty fast. I usually keep mine between 600 and 700 as I have pretty fast internet. As you can see, once you complete a clip, it goes on to the next one and it makes a gray check arrow next to it saying you've completed it. What I like to do is go ahead and mute the tab. That way you can go to YouTube, Netflix, or simply start another other work and not have to listen to an extremely fast paced talking. Here on the test, once it's done, you'll click start test. And what I do is I go through and just answer each question. Just Click an answer, hit submit. Click an answer, hit submit. Now, when the, that gray out on my screen is me holding my Windows button and clicking print screen. That's taking a screenshot of the screen, showing you the correct answers. You want to go through and do this for all the questions.
Most tests range anywhere from 7 to 20 questions, typically around 10. After you're done, you'll click done. And obviously you're not gonna do very well. What you're gonna do is open up where your screenshots went. Open up a screenshot and pull that to one side of your screen with Percipio up on the other side. You're gonna click start new test. And as you can see, it's the same questions about 90% of the time. So you'll go through on your right half screen and you'll scroll through your screenshots until you find the right question. You'll look at what the answer should be. And you'll go ahead and click the correct answers. What I like to do is delete the photo after I'm answered the question. That way it reduces the number of photos I have to look through. This definitely helps when you have tests that are maybe 15, 20, 25 questions. Instead of scrolling through 25 photos every question, after each question, there's one less photo to scroll through. Now, you can also do this on your phone if you don't have the ability to take screenshots on your screen. What you can do with your phone is simply hold your phone up to the screen and take a physical photo of your screen when it gives you the right answers. And then hold your phone in one hand with your Percipio up on the computer and go through. Alternatively, if you're only using your phone for Percipio, just simply take a screenshot. It'll take a little longer because you'll have to scroll back and forth between different applications, between your photo album and the Percipio application, but same concept and it'll yield the same results. I'm going a little bit slow in this just to show you, you know, I'm reading the question, scrolling through the photos to find the same question, matching up the answers. You can typically get a 10 question test done in less than five minutes. As you can see for these last few questions, I now only have four photos now after this question three photos to look through for these last three questions instead of scrolling through all 12 questions to find the right answer All right, as you can see, you have 100%, all you need is 70%. So even if you just wanted to skip the last three questions and just click through them, it would be even quicker. Going back to the main track page, you can see it now reflects as completed and will only reflect that once you've done all the courses inside of that track and the test. Now, this is just a bonus. In case you don't know where to see and where to find your promotion points, going to IPSA, you go ahead and log on. Enter your PIN, logging in with your CAC and your CAC reader. Give it a second to load up. Click through the prompts, agreeing to the user information system agreements, privacy acts and such. From your home page, I find it pretty easy. Just type in promotion points, click enter, and there should only be one result. Go ahead and click on that. It'll bring up your summarized promotion point worksheet. And I like to go ahead and click the button that says PPW report, bringing up the official report. Scrolling down to the second page in section C, you'll find your computer-based training. 